Hello, this is Ray with Olive. I'm just doing a simple tutorial for our first one. It's just gonna be, what do you do with this when you're gonna go work out? So you're not really styling your hair, but you just need a little something to get you through your workout, your sweat, and then we'll start doing some tutorials about what to do with this after we've sweat. So step one, all you need to do is have a brush. You need a comb for division if you're doing two braids and a clip to hold one side up while you braid the other. You also need a few elastics, depending on how many braids you're gonna do. Just these small little ones. I buy these at Michael's, they're really cheap and they're really easy for use in the hair. So step one, not that complicated, brush your hair out. Way easier to do a braid when you don't have a knot in your hair. Otherwise, you'll be tugging on it forever and it's super annoying. So, hair is brushed out. Step two, grab your comb. This one's pretty cute. It says, do your part. Bum, 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 bum. So, you'll divide your hair down the middle, down the back, separate it in two pieces, and then this piece just twist up simply and clip away. Doesn't have to look glam because we are going to deal with that in a minute. Now, I remove my glasses for this part so I can get a proper feel of the land. Step one, take a little section at the start of your head, send two fingers through it to make three little segments. Step two, underneath, over, underneath, over, underneath, over. Start picking up sections to add into this French braid, placing it underneath each weave. So you'll take it in your hand, pull it underneath to the middle, and then send that top piece over. You can see what I'm doing here. And now we see that it's simple now that our hair is all brushed out. Let's turn around so you can watch. Just gathering hair and smoothing it as you go and adding it to your section. We'll need some background music or something in here. Pretty quiet. So once you've gathered all of that hair like that, you'll just keep twisting one under another as such until you're at an appropriate level where you'd like to tie it off. Then you'll take our tiny elastic and wrap it around. That simple, you're halfway there. Unclip this section if your hair is like mine and tangles very easily. You might want to give it a little another brush just so that you're ready to go ahead and braid this one. So from here, I'll have another elastic ready. Again, section out a small little triangle. Send your two fingers through it to make three little sections and then start weaving underneath. I always weave underneath a couple of times before I start adding into the French braid. Otherwise, you're going to have a hard time keeping that braid up at the front of your head. And depending on how clean your hair is, it could be very slippery. So sometimes, honestly, I'll hairspray as I go with really clean hair because when you're sweating, it's just all gonna come out and it's gonna be really annoying. So here's the back of my head while we braid this section. Again, just gathering, smoothing as you tuck underneath. You always can weave the opposite direction, bringing hair over top, but this creates um, an out French braid, like a popped out one. So it's raised up out your head. Instead of the other one, pushes it in. I can do a tutorial for that too, just so you can see the difference. 
So once I'm gathered at the nape like that, I'll just start twisting my pieces together. But it's much easier because now it's just a simple braid. Doo -doo -doo. Gathered. Here's my little elastic. And I've secured it in. So there we are. Five minutes long and you've already got your workout due so that you'll be ready to sweat and feel good. And then we can do a tutorial afterwards to deal with it after. So here. Easy French twists. Great, or not a French twist, French braid. Enjoy your sweat and we'll see you at all of here again for another tutorial. Bye.